everybody, Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the South Florida Bulls and the UCF Knights. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Knights. The Bulls seem to have an advantage here. Would you agree with that, Kirk Herbstreit? South Florida is going to be all over the quarterback in this one, Coach. Having one of the most gifted athletes at defensive end makes this defense that much better. He'll help his defense force some turnovers and get to win. I've been quiet about this, but I think it's finally time for my pick. I like South Florida today. South Florida is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends it off. Number 82, fields it at the nine. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, guys, onto the field for the first time is this star at defensive end. How do you think he'll do today? Brad, this guy's not going up against the best left tackle in the world. This may turn out to be a great scouting video for this guy. Hey, you know what? This kid was recruited so that he could get to the quarterback, and he does a great job of it. I'll bet you that we'll be calling his name plenty often tonight. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. The Knights line up in an eye formation. up the play action number two throws caught at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 he's in for the touchdown wait a second they put the points on the board but they might have to take them down Holy. on the offense 10 yards is part of the foul that is a very very costly mistake there that drives the coaches crazy it drives the players crazy it drives the fans crazy. It drives everybody crazy. We'll see if that comes back to shoot him in the foot later on. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 21. Back to pass. They bring the quarterback down. It's third and long. Ball on the 18-yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, and he's hit as he throws at the 40. And he's brought down at the 45-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep, I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. First down. Central Florida lines up with three receivers, and they get the sack. From their own 38-yard line. It's second down and a long ways to go. Central Florida comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And it's incomplete. Intended for the wideout. The intended receiver on the play. Right. 
They'll line it up again on third down. Central Florida comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Number two slings it. Got it. And he's tackled. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. You drop back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows. Bet you. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Knights come out in the ace formation. Tackle at the 30. The five-yard pickup for the tailback. They line up at the 30. It's second down and five to go. They come out with three wide receivers. Great snap to the back. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Central Florida goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He really got in there. There wasn't anything stopping him from getting the sack. These guys love sacks. It makes their statue look hot though. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Here we go. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll get the ball here at the 42-yard line. On a counter. They'll knock him down for a loss. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what time and practice will bring you, Kirk. It's second down and 12. Ball on their own 40. Four wide. He'll get it again. And they make the stop at the 50. And they fall on the loose ball. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Yo, Kirk, is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Coach? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday, because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Coach. Fumble. First impress. I got it. Deep pass down the right side. Got it to him on the fly. Hey. If they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah, he really broke it open on that catch. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him again very soon. They're inside the 20. South Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Looks to pass. Number eight lets it go. That's incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. Second and goal. That brings up second and goal. The bull set up in the gun. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. He's going to take off. Tackle made at the two-yard line. Ball carrier, gain of six on the play. From their own two-yard line. Third down now and goal to go. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. All sides. Only defense. Half the distance to the goal. 
still on third down. We've got third and goal. One yard to the goal line. They've got about 100 tight ends in there for this goal line play. Again with the run. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Big decision here for the offense. It's fourth and goal from the two-yard line. The Bulls line up in a goal line formation. He's tackled at the one. Well, they'll turn it over on downs. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own one. Let's see if the defense puts any pressure on him here. And he is drilled at the four-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. They've got their backs against the wall. Well, we played one quarter, and we're still all locked up. It's 0-0. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. They're in the eye. Again with the run, and he's taken down at the nine. They gained five yards there. It's third down. Ball on the nine yard line. They're in the eye. It's a pass on third and short. He's going left. Oh, great catch. Recovered by the offense. Wow, the receiver had a big play on his mind, and he forgot about securing the football. I always told my receivers to look the ball in, tuck it away, and then get upfield. It looks like he skipped step two. I didn't see the part where he's supposed to tuck it away. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch, and they don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that point. He looks to throw on first down. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Makes a move. Oh, he got nailed on that one. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. From their own 32-yard line. Here's third and nine. High formation here. He drops back. Under pressure. Steps up. He's looking. They bring their quarterback down. Can anybody block this guy? That was his fourth sack of the game, and the offensive line is left once again scratching their heads. Hunter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Number 26 is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Number 26 fields it at the 30. 
The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. So we see a similar result this time. The offense will start at the 36. First and 10. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Looking to throw. Throws it out there. And down he goes at the 39. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. The second down and seven to go. Ball on the 39. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. Surveys the field. Got him on the run. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Going with the shotgun here. Setting up play action. Flips it short. Incomplete pass. Number 85 was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Gives it to the back. Tries to juke. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. From the 42-yard line, third and 10. Number eight with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks. He throws. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Bulls are lining up to punt it away. Number 45, the return man. Number 25 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Number 45 calls for the fair catch. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But, Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll take over at the 14-yard line. Central Florida comes out in the shotgun. He throws it. Caught. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Central Florida will call a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and three. Ball on the 21. The Knights line up with a single set backfield. Aaron and out long. And this one falls incomplete. Woo! He just missed a wide open man. Yep. They really blew a great opportunity there. Third they line up at the 21. Third down. The Knights are lining up with three receivers. He rolls out to the left. Off his hands and incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down, Coach. That was a tough pass to hang on to. But on third down, I think that's the catch you have to make. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 41 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Number 26 fields it at the 44. 
The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. The offense will take over at the 49. The halfback with a carry. He's tackled at the 43. South Florida will take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. From the 43-yard line, second and four. The Bulls with four receivers, again with the run, and he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Number 26 picks up a yard on the play. Here's a third and three. Ball on the 42. The Bull line up with four wide out. The option left. Tackled for a loss. Picks up the loose ball. He's got some blockers. And they'll return this one all the way. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. So the defender gives his team six points. There. 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 Costly turnover. And the defense didn't waste any time picking that one up and running it in for a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Central Florida, seven, South Florida, nothing. Number 33 is lined up to kick this one off. Number 26, back to return. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Number two, fields it at the 13. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. This drive will start at the 31 yard line. South Florida in a five-wide set. First down, look at the throw. They can't connect, incomplete. Just a little too far for the halfback. Second down, they line up in the shotgun. Look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. Missed tackle. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Central Florida will take their second time out of the half. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. The Bulls come out in the shotgun. the halfback. Tackle at the 27-yard line. The Knights call a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. The Bulls are lining up to punt it away. Number 19 will be the return man. He gets it away. Number 19 takes it to 36. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 36. Big dog, big dog. Cut. Drops back on first down. He'll dump this one off. Catches it. Brought down at the 37-yard line. 
And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Okay, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. The Knights set up in the gun. He passes it. He snags it. And he's taken down at the 40. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. The Knights come out in the ace formation, throws it to the outside. It's complete, and he's tackled at the 29. Played a half of football here, and our score is Central Florida, seven. South Florida, nothing. Central Florida got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 26 takes it at the 12. He's hit and got away. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. The Bulls line up with a single set back to you. They'll throw on first down. He snags it. Excellent open field tackle. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Big dog, big dog. Hands it off. Makes a move. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with the heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Third and four. It's third and four. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Bulls are lining up with three receivers. Slips it short, and it's caught, and he is drilled at the 42. Now that is close. I wasn't sure where they were going to spot the football. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. First it's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. From the gun. Throws down the middle. Oh, what a spectacular grab. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. Second down. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Bulls come out in a shotgun. Direct snap to the back. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. They line up at the 46. It's first down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the 41. Five yards. Five yard gain on the play. They line up at the 41. It's second down. The Bulls line up with a single set backfield. Tackle at the 39 yard line. Number 26 picks up two yards with a carry. That'll make it third down. So another third down upcoming for the offense. One man backfield. 
Third and short, and they hand it off. And he's tackled at the 38. They'll still be short of the first down. They didn't have far to go, Brad, but it didn't matter because this defense was ready for them. And now it's fourth down, Coach. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 25 awaits the snap. He gets it off. Number 45 signals for a fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. First and 10. South Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs. There's the play fake. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. Number 46 was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They get it out there on the cross. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Number 30 lines up as a single back. On play action. Number two throws it out there. Incomplete. Number 84 was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. From their own 31-yard line. It's second down. Number two lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He throws it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Hello, sweetheart. Now that's how to break up a pass. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver Third catch that one. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 31-yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Back to pass. And now he's going to improvise. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 26 is back to receive. He gets it away. Number 26 takes it to 25. Loose football. And they fall on the loose ball. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. They line up at the 26. First down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Feeds it to the back. Tries to juke. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes at the 14. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. They're in the red zone. The Knights line up in an I formation. Play action. Across the middle. He dives and he got it. What a catch as he was falling to the ground. He laid out his whole body, saw the ball fall right into his hands and held on to it.
Central Florida, hoping to go up two touchdowns here. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Tackled for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. So at the end of three quarters, it's only a one possession game with the score. Central Florida, seven. South Florida, nothing. They line up at the three. Second down. The Knights come to the line with their jumbo package. Play fake. He gets the pass away, so they're unable to connect. That could have been six if that pass would have been thrown a little bit better. The defense got away with one there. If they can get it in here, it'd make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. They set up in an eye down by the goal line. Watch for play action on this one. Central Florida. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Central Florida, 14, South Florida. Nothing. Central Florida lines up for the kickoff. Kicks off. Number two fields it at the 11. Juke move. Missed tackle. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. First down. South Florida comes to the line with three wide. First down, look at the throw. He delivers, and he's tackled at the 40. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. It's second down. The Bulls line up with three wide. South Florida lines up with three receivers. He's under pressure. He's sacked at the 34-yard line. They line up at the 34. Third down. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. Number eight. Fires it right. And this one falls incomplete. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 19 is back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Number 19 takes it to 28. It's a little late in the game to be punting with a two-possession deficit, don't you think, Coach? I think so, but this coach has a lot of faith in his defense. The problem is that he needs his offense to step up and put points on the board. And they can't do that when they're catching wind on the bench. 
They'll start at the 33. Three, six, three inside four. Cut. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 36. Number 30 gets three yards on the carry. Second down. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number two comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. He jukes. Tackle at the 46. This wide receiver keeps the offense moving in the right direction by breaking the screen pass for a first down. Coach, as you know, quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big game like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great for the quarterback stats. You're right, Kirk. How about the receiver stats? These guys just love bragging about their yak yeah, yardage. Geez. And the wide receiver screen might be the best play in the book when it comes to yards after catch. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run, had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Second and ten. From their own 46-yard line. It's second down. Brought down at the 49. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. They line up the 49. It's third down. South Florida brings in their nickel package. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. It's tipped. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. The Knights line up to punt. Number 41 is waiting for the snap. Number 41 punts it away, and this is just a beauty. Great kick. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. I think this one is just too far out of reach. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. The Bull come out showing three wide. He zips it, and he's got him on the run. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they pull it up. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. He looks to throw on first down. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. The Bull set up in the gun. Nice move. And he's going to come up with a sack. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. Second it's second down. Ball on the 33-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He's looking to pass. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down.
from their own 33-yard line. Third down and 14 to go. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Oh, great catch. South Florida calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First down. The Bulls line up with four wideouts. First down, look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. He sheds it. He's brought down at midfield. South Florida will have one timeout remaining. It's second down. Number eight, lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He unloads it, complete, and he's hit immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Number eight with four wide receivers. Can't wrap him up. And he's going to come up with a sack. The linebacker brought down the quarterback before he could find an open man. Something tells me he would have gotten punished even if he did find an open man. That doctor was coming in hard. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry-up offense. South Florida will take their last time out. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? This is not an offensive performance to be proud of. South Florida seemed to fall asleep on offense today, and they just couldn't wake up. In my opinion, they're a little bit overrated coming into this football contest. If I were the offensive coordinator, I'd go back to the chalkboard. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Central Florida, 14. South Florida, nothing. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.